द इलस्ट्रेटिव आइडिया ऑफ ए डायनेमिक ह्यूमन बॉडी इज मेड ए रियालिटी बै द फंक्शनिंग ऑफ ए वाइड रेंज ऑफ सिस्टम्स देर ईज ए पर्फेक्ट कॉर्डनेशन बिटवीन द वेरी सिस्टम्स ऑफ द बॉडी टू कीप अस रनिंग इट ईज ईक्वली इंपॉर्टेंट टू हैव ए स्पेशल सिस्टम टू डिफेंड द बॉडी अगेंस्ट द इन्फेक्शन ऑफ द वर्ल्ड द रिजल्ट ऑफ सच एन अरेंजमेंट इज द कॉम्प्लेक्स इम्यून सिस्टम ऑफ द बॉडी एन इंपॉर्टेंट प्रोसेस पर्टेनिंग टू द डिफेंस मैकेनिजम्स ऑफ द बॉडी इज फैगोसाइटोसिस Phagocytosis is the procedure by which microbes or foreign substances are killed and engulfed by special phagocytic cells. These cells follow the mechanism of endocytosis to engulf and digest foreign particles. The immune system of our body is dependent on the presence of several types of cells called white blood cells or leukocytes. The white blood cells in the blood of a normal human approximate to a range of 4000 to 11000 per cubic millimeter. The numbers may fluctuate in antigen attack. Leukocytes are of broadly two classes, namely granulocytes and agranulocytes. Granulocytes include neutrophils, basophils and eosinophils, while agranulocytes include lymphocytes and monocytes. Out of this, neutrophils and monocytes are actively phagocytic cells. Neutrophils are known to be the first line of defense against bacterial infections. They contain granules capable of bacterial and antimicrobial functions. Monocytes contain hydrolytic enzymes and function as the second line of defense. Macrophages function similar to that of monocytes. Now let us explore the five steps of phagocytosis. Chemotaxis with the entry of foreign organisms into the body some chemicals called chemoattractants or chemotaxins are generated by the inflammatory cells or the invading organisms. Complement proteins like C5A and C3 can also act as these chemicals. Chemotaxins attract the neutrophils towards the damaged site. The migration of neutrophils to the site of infection is termed as chemotaxis. With the beginning of chemotaxis, leukopoiesis is also stimulated in the bone marrow for the production of more white blood cells. Diapedesis The attraction from chemotaxins stimulates the neutrophils to make their way through the capillary endothelial cells to the site of inflammation. This process is termed as diapedesis. Firstly, the neutrophils move to the margins of the capillary through margination and then attach tightly to the endothelial lining through adhesion. By amoeboid movement, the neutrophils now squeeze through the endothelial cells to reach the target site. Opsonization and adherence The antigens are now coated with special chemicals that make them more tasty to the phagocytic cells. These chemicals are called opsonins and the process is called opsonization. Complement proteins C5A and C3B and IgG antibodies are known to be high quality opsonins. After opsonization, the membrane of the phagocyte attaches with the membrane of the microbial body by a process called adherence. Ingestion Pseudopodia are now extended from the membrane of the phagocytic cells which ultimately surround the microbe and form a vesicle. This vesicle fuses with the lysosome of the phagocytic cell and is termed as phagolysosome. The process of engulfing of the foreign particle is called ingestion. Killing The killing of the engulfed bacteria occurs through two mechanisms namely oxidative killing and non-oxidative killing. The non-oxidative mechanism of bacterial killing relies on the presence of proteases, defensins and cationic proteins in the neutrophil granules. Lysosome hydrolyzes the cell wall of bacteria. Lactoferrin sequesters iron that is required for bacterial growth. Alpha and beta defensins on the other hand disrupt the outer membrane of bacteria and destroy the single strand DNA structure. The oxidative mechanism of bacterial killing is achieved by the release of antimicrobial oxygen metabolites like the superoxide anion, hydrogen peroxide, hypochlorous acid, free hydroxyl radicals and singlet oxygen molecules from activated neutrophils. NADPH oxidase is an enzyme that is present in resting neutrophils and gets triggered following neutrophil activation. This enzyme stimulates increased oxygen intake into phagocytes. also called the respiratory burst it converts molecular oxygen into superoxide anions superoxide anions combine with two h+ ions to form hydrogen peroxide under the action of the enzyme superoxide dismutase
by this whole mechanism two oxidants namely superoxide anion and hydrogen peroxide have been generated another oxidant hypochlorous acid is generated from negative chlorine ions under the action of myeloperoxidase enzyme during the non oxidative mechanism the proteases and collagenase enzymes of the granules produce a killing zone around the inflammatory tissue encouraging the action of the oxidant metabolites sometimes this coordination becomes detrimental leading to damage of more host tissue in conditions like rheumatoid arthritis the applied aspects of phagocytosis revolve around the movement of phagocytic cells the activation of neutrophil increases cytosolic calcium concentration which leads to contraction of the components of the cytoskeleton increasing amoeboid movement of neutrophils phagocytic activity is decreased in conditions like neutrophil hypomotility with this we come to an end of our topic thank you for your patient listening please like share and subscribe the channel for more interesting content